We all know that Taiwan is world leading when it comes to semiconductors and high end tech. But just like the Swedish representative Helena recently said, sometimes you simply don't see the forest because of all the trees, or in case of Taiwan, the bubble teas, pagan dunbing, and lambaitos. But I did actually realize Taiwan's tech dominance with my own eyes earlier this week, as I've been looking into upgrading my YouTube studio with an SSD NAS solution to handle all my video editing needs. And if you have no idea what an SSD NAS actually is, then please do continue watching since that might actually be the best thing you never knew you needed. But that is also when I realized that at least according to Gemini AI, the entire global top three NAS storage solution all seem to come from Taiwan. So in order to understand this Taiwan dominated industry a little bit better, I contacted the number one brand on the list to see if we can make a video talking about this in a little bit more detail. And they replied by sending me their QNAP TVS-H874 T. Yeah, I have no idea what that means either, but what I do know is that this is the answer to all my computer storage needs. And this is also the world's first Thunderbolt 4 NAS. Now, very simply put, NAS or a network attached storage is a storage device that is attached via a network. Basically, it's a hard drive that you can access either via Wi Fi and the internet or via a cable. But what makes this QNAP TVS H874T unique, other than the, the cryptic name, is that this has been designed for creators like myself and is loaded with tons of useful features and functions that will make my job of creating YouTube videos just so much easier. So first things first, this entire thing is the actual NAS, but the actual storage is inside of this little array here that you might have, have already seen. These are actually eight different trays that inside have these SSDs. All these trays in this uh, QNAP NAS actually have space for these larger, much slower standard hard drives. But if you are a 4K video editor like myself, you do tend to want to use these uh, smaller, but also much, much faster faster SSDs. These SSDs are actually not directly from QNAP, but they are from another Taiwanese partner company to QNAP, which is a pacer. So we are doubling down on the Taiwanese tech. So very simply put inside of here, I do have eight of these hard drives and actually two other smaller M2 hard drives that I think we might skip for, for this video. This means that I can put eight SSDs into this NAS at the same time. And if I am going to be completely honest, uh, that was basically the only thing I thought that a NAS did. Basically is working as an adapter so I can access all my hard drives or all my SSDs at the same time using one cable. But it turns out that we haven't even scratched the surface of what this beast of a machine actually can do. But one thing that I want to mention about NAS in general and maybe the main reason for why people will purchase a NAS in the first place and that is something called RAID which means redundant array of independent disks which basically means that you can take the information you have on your hard drive and then spread it out on multiple different hard drives. So you do have some redundancy in case of one of these hard drives failing or if there's anything corrupt with a physical hard drive, then you do have somewhat of like a semi backup on these other hard drives in this array of different disks. And the last just super cool NAS feature in general, in total inside here, I do have eight plus two SSDs with a total of 11 terabytes, that is 11,000 gigabytes of storage, but I can create virtual storage locations pretty much however I want. So there's one that is three terabytes, that is like my, my main one, where there I basically have all the, the current videos that I'm currently editing right now. Then I do have a four terabyte backup where I do put all my video files that I'm not currently editing. But with that said, now it's time to talk about the unique benefits of this QNAP TVS H874. T and to see what makes this NAS storage solution so much more than just a NAS storage solution. And do I dare to say a video editor's best friend when it comes to all the unique functions and features, including being the world's first Thunderbolt 4 NAS. 
That means that if you are using a Thunderbolt 4 compatible device, just like my Mac Studio, you can actually achieve speeds up to 20 gigabits per second, which is more than enough to real time edit 4K videos or even 8K videos directly from this NAS. And of course, the transferring speed to this NAS is also lightning fast, or I guess I should say Thunderbolt fast and so much faster than just a standard USB speed. But of course, even if you don't have a Thunderbolt 4 computer, you can still access this like a regular NAS via Wi-Fi or the internet as well, just without those Thunderbolt 4 speeds. But as if that was not enough, this NAS is not only a NAS, it's basically its own computer. It does have its own HDMI port, so you can connect it directly to a monitor or a TV, and you can even stream your content from the NAS and then straight to, for example, your Apple TV in the living room as well. And it also comes with its complete own app center. I'm not going to go through every single app because that will take forever, but I do want to highlight just a few of these apps that is incredibly useful specifically for me as a full-time content creator. And in the end of this video, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite function of how you can combine all these different apps. So with literally just one click of a button, you can take your newly recorded video footage, send it across the world if you want to an editor far, far away, and you literally don't have to do anything else other than just one single click. But before we get there, this QNAP NAS have tons of other super useful functions and features, specifically Q filing that literally will take your folder structure and just file organization to a completely new level. Now, of course, if you are using a QNAP server, you can of course access all your different files using a very normal and boring file structure like this using their app FileStation. But if you are using at least a Mac, uh, you can also access this straight in your Finder window. And it's super easy to just like, you know, copy, paste, drag in, drag out, both within the NAS itself, if you wanna organize the, in my case, three virtual storage locations within this NAS, but also of course, copy paste straight to your computer or like straight to like another USB that is connected either to a computer or to any of those other Thunderbolt or USB ports on the NAS as well. But let's talk about Q filing. Okay, so for example, uh, after I'm done with the video project, I have uh, maybe uploaded the video on YouTube. I'm not gonna work actively with this file anymore. I do like to move it over to my backup storage location. But inside this folder, if we just look at it, it's a, it's a complete mess. So there are video files, photos, audio tracks, background music. This all makes sense when I'm actually working actively of, of editing and publishing this video. But let's say if I wanna go in and find one of these files, like I know a specific clip, for example, with the doctor and the baby, if I want to use that three months later, uh, it's going to be impossible to, to find. So in order to get some control over this madness, we're going to use Q filing and create a Q filing task to automatically clean up uh, all the files that we no longer will actively use. We're still going to keep everything, but we don't need it in the location and the folder structure it currently is right now. So how this works is that you first select the folder or the files you want to file in Q filing, and then you apply any filter you want within that previous selection. During this process, you can also transcode your video files or add a lot of other video image or file processing, which we'll skip for now, but talk more about later. Then you simply select your destination folder, which in my case is my backup storage location on the NAS. And then you decide on how you want all these files organized and which folder structure you want in the new location. The default settings is exactly what I'm looking for to divide up all these files based on the different file types. And then after a few minutes of processing, depending on the amount of files, you're all set. So now when Q filing is done, we do have new organized folders. The actual file is all the same, but now every video file has been put together in the video folder and then all the music, or in my case, the, the audio has been put into their own separate folder as well. Not only do I have direct access to all the files I recorded that day in chronological order in this folder, below I then have access to every single video clip that ended up in the final video and 
pretty much like all the other NAS functions that I have found actually, uh, you can schedule this as well. So you can set it up on, for example, like a weekly basis for specific folders. So that means that when you're done and actually working, you can just drag it into a specific like converting folder. The NAS itself will actually go through and do the process for you. So we're going to talk about my absolute favorite function in, in just a second, but uh, I do have one other magical Q magi that I want to talk about first. And this is an AI powered uh, photo and video manager that scans through everything you have in, in your NAS. And then this uh, almost magical, at least uh, AI will then automatically recognize all the faces. Uh, as you can see, I, I don't really take that many photos of other people other than myself and Mithya. But if I would, then, then they will show up here as well. And you can also create different collections based on, for example, different events, different clothing styles, buildings or sceneries. And it can also uh, detect if you have any duplicates or in my case, triplicates of, of photos if you quickly and easily want to uh, delete all of that as well. And if you take this one step further with another app called Q Search, then not only can you search any text that's within your photos, you can also find photos based on the location they were taken in and its AI powered search engine will help you find all and any of your photos. For example, this photo of me and my mom from Kenting in 2009, which I can guarantee you that neither me or my mom knew I had on my hard drive. And if you're a professional photographer or if you just want to get really, really detailed with your search, you can also filter your photos and files pretty much in any single way you can possibly imagine. But I think my absolute favorite function of this entire uh, app center is hybrid backup sync. Uh, I know it doesn't sound uh, sexy at all. Uh, and I don't think it's intended to actually be as amazing as it is. But basically what, what this is supposed to do, I assume, is to be in maybe a little bit more professional work setting, like if you do have an actual office and, and you do have really important documents, then this would actually do an again, scheduled backup to not only like, not within like the, the NAS itself, you, you could if you want to, but, but not only, it can pull from and add into basically whatever you want. Any like local device that is connected to the NAS, any other NAS in another location, or also like upload it to the cloud. It basically just works as like the spider in the web to on a daily basis, weekly basis, whatever, make sure that you do a proper backup as well. You don't have to worry about anything, just set it up and forget about it. Again, you have like the whole RAID system, but that's not gonna help you if the entire physical NAS has an issue, like burning down in a fire or, or being stolen. So that's why you should definitely have a backup. But as important as safety and backups are, that is definitely not why I think this is my absolute favorite feature, because it does also come with something called one touch copy. So the physical NAS does have a USB port on the front together with a button. I think this is the, the best button in the entire world. What this button do is that anything that you have connected to this USB will create a copy into a dedicated folder that you have set up before in the NAS with literally just like one click of a button. So after I'm done recording, my video files ends up on an SSD like this straight from my, my camera. And then I do have a adapter like this. So I just plug it in something like this. And then this comes with a normal USB. I then just plug it into this hole. I press a button and then whatever I have recorded that have not yet already been copied into the NAS will automatically be copied and put into a specific folder in my NAS. And this is where the magic just happens because as I said, you can combine different apps and different functions. So all this data is then being copied to a specific folder and then using all this, the file storage and these other apps that I have on my NAS, I have set it up so anything that ends up in this specific folder will automatically be transcoded to a lower resolution. And then that folder can then be automatically shared because remember, this is still a NAS and I can access this over internet, which means that I can share access to either the entire NAS, which I don't recommend, or a specific folder, one single folder in this NAS that I have given access to a guy who helps me edit my videos. And if I am feeling extra lazy one 
one day I can also set up an if TTT uh, trigger. So if anything gets added into that second folder, an email is being automatically sent to my editor telling him that it's time to uh, stop being lazy and start editing my new video. Uh, literally all of this can happen with just one click of a button. I don't know. If you are a full-time YouTuber or a video editor or just like a content creator in general, specifically if you are working with, with other people in the team, they cannot be a better solution. I, I have no more words to, to describe how just amazing this workflow is. It's not even a workflow at this point. It's just like a click of a button. Honestly, uh, this is going to save me literally hours every single week. Just the fact that the Thunderbolt 4 for speed is so much faster than a normal USB. I, I, I would estimate that's just like two, three hours right there. And uh, yeah, I'm extremely proud of saying that, of course, this was a Taiwanese solution using both Taiwanese SSDs inside this Taiwanese beast of a machine. And I am extremely proud of being a YouTuber here in Taiwan using these Taiwanese products so you, the Taiwanese people, get to see uh, my YouTube videos every single week. And if you do want to see my videos every single week here from Taiwan, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please also help me out by liking this video if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with Alice in like, ends with S, please subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.